today. A processor is made from honey. GPU prices are about to plummet. Intel's ARC GPUs are insanely expensive. And Ryzen 3D beats Intel's 12,900KS at gaming? Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, your next CPU could be made from honey. Okay, probably not your next one, but researchers from Washington State University have literally made a chip from honey, and they published their findings in the Journal of Physics D. According to PC Hardware, they first turn the honey into a solid, put it between two electrodes, and use it to make a mem rister, which is basically similar to a resistor, but it more mimics the human brain in that it can process and store data. Ultimately, they were able to get it to work like a synapse, which is great news. One of the reasons this is even being done is to find biodegradable chips. And given honey doesn't spoil and it has a low moisture concentration, they should last quite a while. Though the dissolving in water part doesn't sound that great. At the end of the day, this is really just a proof of concept. Each mem rister is the size of a human hair, so they're a very long way from current transistor sizes. We're talking one one thousandth the size. Plus, they need a way to make billions of them, so anything like this would still be a far way off. Still, it's interesting to see the new things chips are being made from. And not only are processors being made out of honey, but it can actually power your savings with this video's sponsor. You guessed it, Honey, the free tool that everyone needs to have. Seriously, there's so much it can do. I've been using it a lot myself, and it doesn't just search the web for coupons and apply them for you, which is pretty amazing regardless, but it can literally compare the price of items you're looking at across different stores to make sure you're getting the best price, or you can have Honey tell you when that item's price goes down, and you never have to think about it. Honey just appears when you're on a supported site, to which they support tons of the sites you use all the time. Basically, you've got to try Honey. So head to joinhoney.com slash gamermeld or click the link in the description. Because if a CPU can be made out of Honey, it can definitely help you save money. Next up for today, while the last year has seen nothing but shortages across the world and huge GPU price hikes, good news looks to be around the corner. In fact, things could completely turn around. According to an article from analyst John Petty of John Petty Research, scalpers could soon be left holding the bag. <laughs> If you remember, back in 2017, GPU prices rose for the first time as crypto skyrocketed, but when it dropped, prices reached all-time lows. Unfortunately, this time around, the pandemic seems to have caused a huge spike in demand along with shortages, not to mention the rise in crypto yet again. All of this has made prices remain high for much longer. Well, John Petty Research actually says, quote, there's a good probability that these inflated prices will come crashing down as gamers just say no, and the speculators and gougers find themselves with inventory they can't sell. Basically, this is a waiting game, and it hopefully won't be much longer before we see prices crash to not only MSRP, but maybe even much lower, and the scalpers will be in big trouble. Next up, it looks like Intel is having some major issues with their ARC GPUs. In a Twitter post by the official Intel support profile, Intel stated that ARC laptops won't be available until the end of Q2, and this was of course after the official launch. They then followed up with a tweet claiming that they had the wrong information, and that the Samsung systems launched in Korea only, meaning when Intel released their laptop ARC GPUs on May 30th, it wasn't worldwide. This I think is extremely telling. With the desktop GPUs being pushed back to Q2, Intel only releasing the lowest end models on laptops first, and only releasing in Korea, the company is clearly having issues. Not only that, but when you look at the price of the laptops, they come in at over 2100 bucks when you convert it, yet at that price, they only come with an A350M, a 1080p screen, and Alder Lake 1260p. So not only is Intel having major issues with ARC, but their pricing it to the moon. Now, they say that additional OEMs in other regions will have laptops available in the coming weeks, but I personally think their first statement was likely correct and they're just now covering. That's pure speculation, but given all the delays and now this, things are not looking good for Intel's ARC GPUs. 
And lastly for today, AMD's Ryzen 3D CPU has been tested, and it beats Intel's newest 12,900KS in this. I'm of course talking about the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D. Now, while the upcoming CPU isn't out yet, XANXO Gaming was actually able to pick one up. According to video cards, it's not hard to buy one right now in Peru. Either way, the outlet ran a few benchmarks, and the results are really interesting. For starters, he ran a Geekbench test, and the single core score is actually worse than what we see out of the 5800X. But of course, that's to be expected. Remember that the new 5800X 3D comes with lower clocks. Next, he ran a blender test, and it's a little to moderately faster than the 5800X, but nothing to write home about. Next is CPU-Z, which literally had the CPU scoring lower than the regular 12900K. But of course, its main benefit is the higher cache, not higher clocks, more cores, or anything like that. And it's really just made to help in games, and that's where things look to shine. The outlet tested the CPU in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and he did it at 720p, so they could eliminate the GPU bottleneck as much as possible. And according to the results, the Ryzen 5800X 3D crushes Intel's 12900K by over 20% and beats the new 12900KS by over 15%, so AMD's new CPU could take back the crown. Of course, this is only one game, and at 1080p, the difference will be smaller, but it's still faster. Which which is interesting, especially given Intel's 12900KS costs so much more. Sure, Intel's part will do better in more professional workloads, but it may not hold the fastest gaming CPU title for long. So while that does it for today, are you excited for AMD's Ryzen 3D CPU? Or what do you think about Intel's ARC GPUs? Do you think they're having problems? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day!